Now, gold collectibles firm Men's Gold says fears of attacks from some of its clients has forced it to shut down. The firm had settled to pay dividends to its clients today, the f that's Friday, October 5, 2018. But checks by Joy News reveal all offices of the company have been closed. Joy News' Imano Jivenu was at the East Legon branch and reported that there was no activity at the premises, but police patrol vehicles with two police officers were stationed in front of the office. Deputy Head of Communications Ni Ama Amatefio in an interview on Joy Midday News said the company has not completely shut down. He said although they had planned to pay customers as stipulated in the payment schedule, news about attacks on some of the company's staff on Thursday caused a temporary closure. Uh, we haven't shut down, and as I said, we're promising uh, extra value today because if you can recall, when we resumed on the 28th of September, we came out with a shadow to pay all our clients their extra value. Uh, what happened is that if it were Friday, we paid, and then we proved that unfortunately we couldn't pay everybody that was due on Friday. So we moved it to Monday to continue payment. On Monday, indeed, we paid some, but we couldn't pay everybody until... Uh, later in the evening, when we had a meeting with the leadership of uh, the, the customers of Men's Gold, and they expressed some kind of reservations in terms of the shadow that we brought out, which, according to them, is inconvenient to some of their uh, members. So if that be the case, we should review the shadow. Uh, so we listened to them, and we decided to review the shadow starting from Tuesday. So if you could recall, we sent a text message to our various customers that based on the discussion we had with the leadership, we have reviewed the shadow as such, and then we'll communicate or we'll send them messages uh, to that effect. Um, the point is that we plan paying our customers today, but yesterday in the evening, we were in the meeting when we start having information from the various branches that most of our staff members have been attacked by customers. And based on that, we now decide that if we have to do business or trade today, the plan that most customers have had to attack us will not be favorable. That's why we decided to uh, shut down today and not to operate. So when are you resuming operations? Well, if you look at the text message that we sent to our various customers, we have, we have told them that we are going to meet with all the groups. We are going to engage them. And today, we have engaged over three groups. We have engaged the reps from Parliament. We have gained the reps from the police service. We have engaged the reps from the military as well. So we are having this engagement with them to discuss the way forward in terms of how to pay, how to pay everybody. So if we reach an agreement by the close of day today, we will come out with a communique to shadow on which day we will start payment. Mm. But with all this, um, customers are agitated. At least some of them speaking to us are worried about their investments. Are you able to assure them that everything is okay? Well, um, we, 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 we will continue to assure our customers that uh, their investments are safe. Um, nobody is going to lose our investment, as we've said over and over. The point is that we are having challenges at this point in time. But these are not challenges that are not surmountable. We know we are going to surmount those challenges, and we will continue paying all our customers that have been our track record. And I keep repeating that for the past four years, as you know, we've never, ever defaulted paying of extra value. And we will definitely disclose this hardship or those challenges and all our customers might we will receive their extra value or maturity. That is Ni Ama Amatefio, Deputy Head of Communications for Men's Gold Ghana Limited. You're still watching the polls with me, Gifty Andropia.